Okay, welcome back. We're going to take a look at Unit 1, Lesson 1. The goal is I can determine and create equivalent fractions by using fraction bars. All right. Fraction bars, first thing we have to remember with making a fraction bar is what is our whole? So our bar represents one whole. We always need to think of one whole being the same. Now, a fraction bar is going to represent a fraction. So if it's going to represent one half, the numerator, the one is the numerator. The top number we're going to call the numerator from now on tells me how many pieces I have. The bottom number, the denominator, says how many pieces it takes to make a whole. What size pieces? The pieces are halves. It takes this size piece, it takes two of them to make a whole. One half would be one of them. So that would be a fraction by representing one half. One third. The three in the denominator tells me it's the size pieces are it takes three to make a whole. The numerator one tells me I have one of them. So that's how I can make a fraction bar for one third. Now, any fraction can be made by the sum of unit fractions. This is one third and this is one third. When I add them together, I have two-thirds. Notice, when I had one-third and another third, the size of the pieces didn't change, so my denominator did not change. What changed was my numerator. Now how many pieces I have were two, and that's what changed. Now, using that for equivalent fractions like we're talking about, Let's take a look at our one half. Well, if I take my fraction, my one whole is the same, and I take one half. Well, let's say I make each of these pieces half as large. Now I have two times as many pieces. I have four pieces to make a whole. So now each of these is one fourth. And if I would have done that to my halves, this much was one half. That ends up being two fourths. What happened? Each piece got two times smaller, so I needed two times more pieces. All right, now, fraction bars can be made for any fraction, or any fraction can be made out of unit fractions. Let's say I have Oh, I don't want to use eights. Let's say I'm going to make some bars using some butter. This can happen. I'm making some bars with some frosting. It says to use three eighths of a bar of butter. Look at it comes already partitioned into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal pieces or eights. So if it says to use three eights of my of it for a bar, I'm cutting it now, but you can't see it because I can't do it on there. So I'm going to cut it here and cut off th three eighths. There, there's 
creates that I cut off. Now, if I take another two eighths of the bar and cut that off for the frosting, So I take two eighths and I cut that off for the frosting. And I'm making a mess with my butter because of course it's trying to melt on me because I use soft butter. Because it's supposed to be soft for what I'm making. Now look what I have. My three eighths and, oh, and my two eighths. I have three and two, but the size pieces didn't change. They're still eights. Let me draw it with fraction bars. Because though butter's delicious, it's messy. So as I draw it with my fraction bars, I have representing a whole partition into eight equal parts. First, I took three eights. for the bars, then I took two eighths for the frosting. Together, they were one, two, three, four, five. I have five of them. Let me use a darker marker. And it takes eight still to make a hole. The size pieces did not change. Same could work with subtraction. I had eight eighths. I took away three eighths. Then I took away two eighths. And now I only have three eighths left. Okay, a key thing to understand about fractions is Fractions are a number. They're representing a value just like any other number. And any fraction, first of all, has to be equal size pieces. In this case, it takes five to make a whole, so my denominator is five. These are fifths. That's the label. It tells you the size of the pieces. Now, any fraction. So if I have four fifths, that's made up of one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth. It's a sum of any, this is called a unit fraction. The unit is fifths. One of them would be a unit fraction. So. Any fraction with one as a numerator is a unit fraction. And that's important to know in all of the unit one and in all of your learning ahead from now on is that a unit, when they talk about a unit fraction, it's a fraction with a one as the numerator. And all fractions can be made like this. It comes in handy just like when you are adding if i was adding 384 and 23 i might want to think well 23 is 20 plus 3 and then just go 384 plus the 20 is 404 plus the 3 is 407 that's why it's nice to know that a fraction is made up of unit fractions. Because later on, you might be adding something like 3 and 3 fifths plus 2 and 4 fifths. And you can add, I can think of the 2 and 4 fifths as 2 plus. So add the two to the three and three fifths is five and three fifths. Now I need two fifths 
to make a whole, and then I would have another two fifths to make four fifths, wouldn't I? So I can add the two to make it five and three fifths, add the two fifths to go to six, and then add the two fifths more to get six and two fifths. So that's why it's important to know that all unit fractions or all fractions can be made up of unit fractions. Okay, let's put it into action. If I had five eighths of a pizza left from dinner, or I had five eighths of a pizza left from dinner, if I ate three eighths of a pizza for lunch, how much of a pizza is left? Now notice that my whole is a pizza. I had five eighths of a pizza. I ate three eighths of a pizza. How much of my pizza is left? Of a pizza is left. So let's use our fraction bars to show this problem. A fraction bar is representing one whole pizza. All right. I had five eighths of a pizza, so I'm going to partition it into eight equal parts. Remember when we did our kit to make eights, we partition it in half each of those in half and each of those in half again. Now I have eights. I like to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, one hole is made of eight eights. And I had five eights of a pizza. So I'm gonna shade in five. One, two, three, four, five. So that's how much pizza I had. A lot of times I like to mark it on top, five eights. Now, if I eat three eighths of the pizza, I'm going to eat one, two, three eighths. This is the part left. What's left? One, two, and the sides are still eighths, two eighths. Would that be addition or subtraction? Subtraction, right? I had five eighths of a pizza. I subtracted three eighths by eating it. Best subtraction I can think of. I took the five pieces, subtracted three pieces, and I have two pieces. The size of the pieces are still eighths. So you can get more practice and examples on student activity book pages three and four, and you should do practice one one. Have a great day.